Now it's time to take the back of the house out. This wall is obviously cavity, unless you went back a long, long time where it's solid nine inch. So first thing to do is, I think it's a lot easier, is take windows and doors out. Um, these often hold things a lot stronger together. And also then you haven't got the danger of glass going everywhere as well. So the first stage on that is um, usually two or three thunderbolts or frame fixings which go from the inside of the window through the plastic and actually into this brickwork. So we'll look inside in a minute how to take those out. But just looking here already, you'd expect a lintel above every window and door to stop any weight pushing down. And if you have too much weight on a window like this, it will stop these opening because the weight will push down and it will you won't have a square anymore. It'll start pushing in. Already, just from taking the last or the first couple of bricks out, there is no lintel. So you can see on here, this is not the way to do it. You've literally got all this old brickwork, which would have been higher, sitting on the window. Somehow it's still opened, but usually you'd expect to see a lintel under this. Whereas here, you can just see they're all just hanging on with silicon without a lintel. Luckily for the customer, this has worked, but I would strongly advise any new window or door, put a lintel above it to take any load above. So to remove this window in the back of the house, tools we need, hammer and bolster, and that's purely to take these tiles, which are going up to the window, take them off. A Stanley, because it's siliconed all the way around, which helps hold it in. And a drill with whichever bit you need to take out these fixings in here. PPE, for this, I would say a pair of gloves. You've obviously potentially got glass breaking. Uh, glasses, protect your eyes. You, there shouldn't be any dust, so I don't think you need any breathing apparatus and there's nothing coming down, so you don't really need a hard hat, but certainly gloves and, and protective glasses. It's so a first step, open the openings, which in this case, we've just got one at the side and one top opener. And then you can see in here, we've got the fixings holding this window in place. So if we come over here, there's three screws holding this window in place. So we take the drill with the relevant bit, obviously check the bit fits, because these are quite big screws. Use your Stanley blade to run round all the silicon holding the frame in of the window. So use your hammer and bolster to remove all the tiling around the bottom half of the window. So use your hammer and screwdriver or something with a flat edge to take out the beads. Once the bees are out of the window, remove the glass panels. And then use a bit of 4 by 2 about a foot long or so, with a large club hammer to hammer out the edge of the frame, put silicon into the brickwork, and then from there, the window will be easy to remove. Now the window frames are out, you can start deconstructing the wall. You can either use hammer and bolster or electric breaker. You can start to remove your top courses of brickwork and plaster. You'll need PPE and a step up. Depending on the construction of the wall, you may need to work from both inside and out. Expose the block work around the lintels in order to remove them. If they're particularly sturdy, you may need a second pair of hands to lift it out. Remember your gloves and steel toe caps. So as you can see, this was the old back wall of the house, which is gone. So the windows and doors we've taken out uh, the inside block work and outside brickwork, that's gone. Uh, and this wall as well. 
Uh, what we found here, where the old wall came across, he's obviously got a few cuts where he just literally nibbled it off to get it out. So what we're going to do is cut these back flush with this. So these bits will cut here and then we'll use hard wall to bring that out level with this. So we'll basically just PVA this and then run a flow up here with hard wall to get this flush all the way across, set a bead on the corner and then we can put the top coat of finish all the way along the wall. And then with here, where this wall has come out, um, we found a, looks like a self-poured concrete lintel, which is where the old back door was. Um, we can't take this out because this is sitting into the um, supporting part of where the steel sits. So what we've got to do is just nibble it out here, then we can take this out, which will then mean we can take this out, which will create the completely open plan living space. There's two ways of taking this out. You can e we can either use a grinder, which is all right because we haven't got the lantern on yet so the dust can escape, or we can just stitch it out with a drill bit, so a six, eight mil drill bit. We can literally just stitch it out all the way up there and then that will release that to come down.